Hey guys, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video, and today's aircraft is uh, one seven second scale diecast by JC Wings. It is the uh, Sukhoi Su thirty flanker, so it's the LLs because it's the one from the Gramov Flight Research Institute, as you can see there. So you're aware that by now that the uh, Sukhoi thirty is a two seat variant of the Su twenty seven, and this particular aircraft, the uh, the one from the Grammar Flight Research Institute is uh, is a special specialised one. It is um, unique to uh, that that particular institute, uh, which is located in Zukovsky, forty kilometres southeast of Moscow, and it uh, it has become the uh, premier test and research centre for aviation in Russia since it's um, since being established in 1941 and it's the world's largest flight research center so it is a typical jc wings um, layout it does have some details some brief details obviously this is sort of a test test flight sort of one and demonstration one so there is no real ordinance to put on it put on it it is going to be a, a pretty basic sort of aircraft and um, let's uh, let's check this uh, aircraft out and here we have it out of the box, and um, as typical with the JC Wings, you do have that uh, hard stock uh, cardboard backing that you can use if you want to display your aircraft on, um, which is, you know, just something novel as per usual. And um, we'll get back to the beast in question, I'll we'll just open that up. I paid uh, $120, I bought this second hand, but it uh, looks looks in really good, sort of brand new nick. Um, it doesn't look... Doesn't look uh, like it's been mucked around with, which is fantastic, and uh, it is your typical JC Wings. It does come with a um, a specialised card, and it is a limited run of only 600. So, um, you know, if you're in, in, into these JC Wings at all, it, they are a very limited limited run of, of aircraft, and it does come with a, a set of instructions, as you can see. Um, I don't think we'll need too many instructions. It's just mainly the placement of the landing gear, and it also comes with... Um, if you can see here, it does come with a nice set of step ladders and everything like that. And uh, obviously the landing gear and the gear doors for the, um, if you want to have gear down. So what we'll do is we'll get this aircraft out and have a look at that first. We'll get that. And as per usual, these are not the tiniest of aircraft, which is, which is good. It gives you something nice to hold in your hand. <laughs> but... I think, yeah, it's very nice. The the panel lines, we'll try and have a good look. They are, um, you know, reasonably okay. They're not hugely deep or anything like that, but that's no no biggie for me. It does have the um, all the uh, information on the side, like the decals and everything like that, from the um, the institute. What what the actual aircraft has. This is actually this is based off a actual aircraft, and. Um, I think it's a, it is a very nice rendition of, the colours are quite striking on the back here, and um, the, looks like the rudder does have a little bit of movement, which they do, they do have a little bit of play, uh, as typical with these JC Wings too, they do not have a stand, so if you do want to display this uh, in flight, you have to purchase that separately. I don't have a problem with it being, um, you know, fairly basic in, in regards to armament and the, um, the colour scheme or anything like that, this is purely, um, I suppose you could say promotional aircraft, a test evaluation aircraft, just to show the capability of what it's able to do, especially I think it was in public events and everything like that. So it was mainly to showcase uh, what this aircraft could do and, and show the world of its uh, capabilities. And uh, I don't have, I have issue with that. Uh, it's sort of what drew me to the aircraft a little bit in the first place, that uh, uniqueness about it and its involvement in, in public you know, air shows and and things like that. So it's just got the, uh, if you flop it, flip it over to the uh, underneath, it just has those wingtip um, armaments. There is no uh, other option for any um, other ordnance. Um, the only other thing we need to do is with this particular aircraft is actually put that landing gear on. And I suppose while we've got her on our back, we'll uh, do that right now. Just quickly, that's if you want it wheels down and to put all the landing gear on, that's the pieces that you will need to put on. Wheels up, just that. <laughs> All right, let's get this uh, landing gear on. So here it is all kitted out. It does go together quite basic. There's two doors for each uh, rear wheel that have to be slotted on. They go straight straight forward in. And of course, the rear wheels themselves, they actually do turn. So they do rotate. And then you've got the uh, nose landing gear that just has the one bay door that goes in. 
that doesn't seem to rotate. So that seems fixed, but the rear wheels do, do turn. Uh, I thought that's quite strange, but overall, as I said, this is quite basic. That's all you got to do. That's uh, job done. And uh, we'll, we'll turn it back over. One little feature, as you can see there, it's got the uh, retractable refueling probe that you can uh, have on and have it extended out, or you can have it in uh, the withdrawn position. So I thought that's pretty cool. And of course, you put the little pitted tube on there on the nose as well. And uh, it does come with, um, as you can see, it's two uh, two pilots that uh, do come with it. They're very blue. <laughs> and um, I think it. Look overall, I think it's not not a bad bad sort of looking uh, unit. It's reasonably well made. We'll just put it on the deck. And there she sits. And as I said, these are only a limited run of um, 600. And you do get one of these little collector cards with the JC wings. And they do not have a stand. So uh, that's it. So it's the um, Sukhoi or SU-30 LL flanker, which is the designation for the Gromov Flight Research Institute um, Sukhoi. And... You would have seen images of this. Uh, I think there's a low-level fly, which is like a meter off the ground, where, where you can see see that one doing a low-level pass a, a, across the uh, airfield there, and uh, for a demonstration. But I reckon it's yeah, not too bad. As I said, I, I paid about 120 bucks for this. So once again, this is uh, by JC Wings. It is a 170 second scale diecast, and uh, I'll take some photos of this aircraft and uh, stay tuned to the end of the video, which is winding up now, and you can check out the photos of this beast enjoy those without these sausage fingers being in the way and uh if you did find this video a little bit helpful throw us a bit of a like that'd be awesome and if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel that'd be that'd be cool as well all right guys you have to have a fantastic rest of your day cheers guys